what's going on? So I'm Stan Kennedy and I also do a Fireball Mullet channel. So super happy to be at Carlisle Events. This place is incredible. So I'm just super honored to be part of this and just seeing some of these elite third gens is just taking it to another level. So Carlisle asked me to talk a little bit about my car. So I kind of wanted to let you guys know uh, everyone know kind of what I envisioned for the car and then maybe talk about some of the parts that we did for it. So what I was really kind of going for the car, I really wanted to feel like I was in high school during these, right? Uh, obviously I didn't have the money to get one back then, but I wanted to modify it and make it kind of GM plus where it, when I drive it, I want it to feel like it's 1985, right? I don't want it to feel like a double din stereo and all that kind of thing. And so I wanted to do some tasteful modifications and kind of keep the IROC sort of theme and just accentuate that. So that was really kind of the vision for the car. And so just starting with the exterior, some of the first things that I did with the car was these wheels here. So, you know, these wheels first came out by US Mags and, you know, they're forged and <laughs> they're they almost got me divorced uh, because they cost a lot. And uh, I broke it to my wife. I was like, uh, I bought some wheels, but I kinda, they just came out with them and I knew when I saw those wheels, it's kinda like when the Xbox first came out, you know, and everybody was trying to buy it, the Xbox, the first one. And I was in Walmart one day and I saw one on the shelf. I didn't play Xbox, but all of a sudden I grabbed the Xbox and I ran to the, <laughs> I ran to the cashier. I was like, and I got home and I was like, I don't play Xbox, but anyway, the wheels, I just, when they first came out, I think I was one of the first ones to get the wheels. Uh, and so they're Arox, they got the style, but they're deep dish. So uh, I ended up going with 18 by nines in the front with 245s. And in the rear, I did 18 by tens with 295, 35, 18s, uh, Michelin Pilot Sports on the back. And uh, so that was kind of like the first thing that I think for the car that I really wanted to do. Um, and so the wheels to me really kind of set the tone of what I wanted to do with the car. Again, modernize it. Now, the next thing that I guess I kind of do, just talking about the exterior, these are the Hoffman door handles here. He custom makes these and I was honored to get one of the first sets. He said, hey Stan, <laughs> you know, uh, I got these new door handles. I want you to try them out. I was like, cool man, send me some. So. Uh, this is the kind of the Gen 1 of these, and I loved it because if you didn't know about these handles, you would think they're stock, right? So that was kind of the theme there. So very subtle, uh, third gen guys know, but most people may not recognize that. And I wanted the same satin black uh, that these handles came in. Uh, talking about the rest of the exterior, I got a fresh paint job on the car. Now I took it to the painter, getting ready for Carlisle Nationals. I had some chips in the front and I wanted to go ahead and get some lines taken care of. And by the time we were taking care of chips in the door, we decided to paint the whole daggone car. So we ended up painting the whole car and that was, you know, <laughs> that was way more deeper than I planned on going, right? Uh, also the functional hood vents, these are uh, Morrow Motorsports and these are a little different than the other brands that are out there because this doesn't have the center bar. So you can look, I can tweak these different blades here and for the blower lid, I had to flatten them right here because it's, you know, LSA blower lid uh, would basically hit that. So that was a pretty cool touch there. And everything else on the exterior of the car, I did new stripes, new decals. Uh, I got them from Hawks Motorsports. So they came in like literally a week or so ago and I was putting decals on them at one o'clock in the morning trying to get ready for the event. So I got them back on and then I ceramic coated everything. So, uh, which was very helpful uh, <laughs> because we had a terrible storm coming up here and I got here and me, Mike Brenza went over there, took a hose to it and the water fell right off with all the dirt and I dried it off, man, it was awesome. So exterior wise, the only other subtle thing uh, on the car, we did a uh, instead of the TPI, I had that made, which is basically the new engine setup, which is the LS3 6.2 liter with the LSA blower. And so 
again, I wanted to keep with that same style, but you know, a little bit more modern. So that was kind of the thing with that. Uh, and then everything else is pretty much stock on the exterior of the car. Uh, so, except for one thing, you got these, uh, now these are Seth Starbuck. And actually I was pretty honored to get one of the first sets of these as well. And uh, he sent me one of the first sets. So I did a video on that, kind of installing those, but those are LED and they have vented, which actually runs to the brakes over here. So there's, there's ducts. If you look right in there, I don't know if you can get in there. There's two ducts there. So those vented uh, parking lamps run to that. So the brakes, which is kind of cool. Uh, so that's really it on the exterior. Then I guess the biggest thing is I did an LS3 uh, swap a couple years ago and it was an NA BTR Stage 3 cam. Uh, and I ended up last year putting an LSA supercharger on it from a CTSV. And then I put E85, 93 flex fuel sensor on it so I could run both and we had it tuned for that. So the motor did 720 horsepower to the wheel and uh, which, you know, is plenty for me. <laughs> you know, I enjoy it and I love to smell the corn, but I can also run 93 pump, which is cool because, you know, if I don't find an E85 station, I can just put 93 in it. Uh, and then I had this blower custom match painted to match the wheels. So it's the exact same paint color as the wheel inserts there from US Mag. So I kind of followed that same sort of uh, theme there and did the blower the same kind of color there. And then the rest of the drivetrain, I've got a Tremec Magnum F uh, six speed. So I converted it to a manual car and it's got a, mus a monster twin uh, LT1 uh, disc, twin disc uh, clutch in it and which is really nice. It holds the power. It definitely did a lot better. And uh, so it's all set up. Then the rear, I got a Strange Engineering S60 rear, and I had that narrowed a half an inch on, the, on, the, on each side, just because of the air suspension I wanted to, to really tuck. So you can see here, I had, it, I had it narrowed so the car could really just tuck right on it, uh, which is really nice. Then the exhaust is a four inch, uh, Sinister by Hawks, and then I ran my own muffler. It's a Varex muffler. It's a valve. It's a valve muffler, so the muffler is like a new muffler where you have open and closed. So while I'm cruising, I might close it, and then I can open it up as well. So it's really nice uh, on the car because with the air suspension, uh, it's riding on Air uh, Ride Tech airbags, which was made for the 82 through 92 Camaro. So I installed that on there, which is really nice. Uh, and then again, the S60 rear. So that's kind of like all the suspension and I got UMI performance parts uh, suspension on it. Uh, so that kind of takes care of the drivetrain and uh, some of the suspension parts. And then the last part of it is the interior. And I really wanted to, again, I don't want a crazy steering wheel. I don't want a double din stereo. You know, I want it to feel like 1985, you know, when I put on some Loverboy, um, <laughs> put on some Loverboy, you know, uh, or some Journey, whatever you want to do. Rick Springfield, I don't care, you know. Well, uh, you know, it, it works out really well. So it's, you know, I really want it to feel. And that's why the seats, these are fifth gen out of a 2012 SS Camaro. And I had them custom stitched with original fabric. Yeah. So this was something that I got done right before Carlisle as well. So I went in deep for Carlisle. So I hope you guys appreciate it. <laughs> I went in really deep. So these seats just feel amazing. I love these daggone seats. I mean, I can, I, sometimes I just sit out in the car and check Facebook, you know, in my seats. <laughs> uh, so yeah, everything else in the, in the interior is pretty much stock. Uh, for the most part, so I've just started the interior, so I'm starting to clean some things up and get some things going. But uh, you know, that's that's for the most part, you know, that's that's probably the the hit, you know, the major hits or the the big pieces that we're doing on the car. So everything else is pretty much keep to the same IROC theme, and uh, 
you know, just jazz it up, juice it up a little, you know. Fireball Mullet is the YouTube channel. So come over, check it out. We've got a bunch of content on there, going through a lot of upgrades, doing cruises. And then I also have a series called Rate My Subscribers Third Gens, where all my subscribers send me their cars and I rate them from one to 10 mullets, okay? <laughs> so check it out, cool. Awesome, thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, no problem.